Hello, Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Delicate Dahlias. And I used both these images and both these images. The cards I've got, right, I've already done the leaves. Because I did four when I made this one. And I only used two, so I've got two left over for today. But I only stamped one flower. Right, I have a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of plank paper, wooded paper. The lady on YouTube, I'm sorry if I don't, can't remember her name, she actually used cork paper. It looked like cork. I don't have none of that, so I've used like a wooded. I was going to stamp Aliexpresso blotches on it to make it look corky, but I didn't. So, yes, I've got that, and that's five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. Stamping up to wooded paper, and I've also got this. This started off by a piece of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I to cut it down using a die. So what I did was got a piece of card. Got the scalloped contour die and no. I put it in and about that and I run that making sure that this is through the not underneath it don't cut it like that or you'll end up with this chopped off so if you put it through like that at an angle like that. Make sure that that's on top and run it through your big shot. Um, yeah, like that. And then bring it back. Don't take it all the way through because if you do, you will crease this side of it. Not crease it, you'll leave an impression. I've got an impression there of the um, die, the metal die. So if you can just take it through like that, make sure your paper's straight and in the middle and that way you'll get this all on your plate and do it until you're there and it will, and then come straight back. You'll be able to cut it out and have it like that and now I have got no impressions on that second piece I cut so that's how I did that the lady on YouTube used a completely different die which I didn't have and yeah it's flat so I had a look to see what I could do and I used that and I think it came out really well. So that's how I got that. Now there isn't any dies so we have to cut these out by hand and I can't put any ribbon behind it because I've got none left. I thought I had another piece and I didn't. So I'm going to do this one without the ribbon. Ribbon does look nice, but I'm going to do it without the ribbon. So what we need, put that to one side, is, I don't think that's big enough, scrap of paper. Right, I'm going to do my outline in Blackberry Bliss. Right, I have only got one. Are these size blocks? Don't know what size that E. So 
I have to take that off as soon as I've used it so I can use the infill right ink it up put it out of the way because I'll put my hand in it and um, I'm going to stamp it like this the reason I've stamped it like this there's a single petal on its own there and that is what I'm going to guide my infill in. I want to do it that way because it's easier to hold. Right, let's see if I can find that infill. And that is there. It's going to be hard to do this on the right. Let's go for it. I can only mess it up. Right, the infill I'm going to do it in in fresh freesia. bring it closer and I'm going to pop it hmm. I can't see if I'm getting this so we'll just go for it and see what happens way off just way off there it's not too bad actually but I'm going to be happy with that now because there's no dies you have to cut this out by hand and I found the easiest way to do that is cut it in a circle first And then just go in close, move the flower round. Don't move your scissors. Just move your cardstock. It's quite easy to cut out, but then I'm used to fussy cutting. For someone who's not used to fussy cutting, if you take time, you'll get it done. I'm saying it as if you're going to make it. of my cards last week were made by other people 
I do sound surprised because I don't hear very often about people making them. It's nice. Nice when you do hear. Obviously people don't have to say. But it is nice when you hear people say Oh, I got this from a lady on YouTube. <laughs> and there you are. Get rid of the rubbish. Get rid of them. No use to man or beast. Keep that scrap. Right. Now that will go on there. And these two will go either side. Now it doesn't look right without ribbon, does it? I've got white ribbon. Let's just add some white ribbon. There's my white ribbon. Yeah. It's a little bit thicker. I don't know. I'm going to get some tape and just put some tape down which will hold the ribbon in place. a bit. Hmm, can hardly see it. Maybe if I just do two. Yeah, just do two bits of ribbon. Don't even measure the ribbon. Stuck that on the paper. Now we're going to stick the paper to 
for carpet. Got my husband sneaking up on me here. Right. Bit of the card come off her. Right, and we're going to put that on dimensionals. First of all, we want to place our leaves down. Right, let's add some glue. all right with that on but what we haven't stamped is our sentiment so I'm going to be brave and stamp it here and the sentiment says thank you kindly I was lucky enough it turned out all right a faff with the ribbon but we got there in the end not happy with that let's that's better <coughs> better finish on the bottom right now we just need some gems this um, to put one there one down here one up there get rid of that And that is our card. I've already put that in for today. Hope you like it. If you do, good thumbs up. If you um, press the subscribe button, you no. If you press the bell, if you like it, subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.